I really is. think this might be the day that Mike from Newton calls in and gloats about oh, yeah. his assessment of Adrian Gonzalez. Mikey. I believe it's five home runs in in ten at bats. Yeah. yeah, ten, five in ten at bats. Five and ten. And three in three swings. Right. That is correct. The last night before last, his last at bat, and then his first two swings of last night's game. Yes. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. And he, he looks so comfortable. And when he know. wants to hit home runs, he can hit home runs. And the fact is that we talked about those scary Rangers after the first game. Yeah, that was that was C.J. Wilson against an undermanned Red Sox right. team. That's a tough, tough game. No matter what, you know, a good left-hander on the road in the Texas heat. They were, you know, that was the aberration. Obviously, in this series, they got. They just teed off on everyone else yeah. and some decent pitchers. Oh, Gondo's clearly reaching his level, though. Oh, he was Gondo a reliever before gone. this year. Yeah, he was awful. Just awful. All, all he would do is throw fastballs. So, I mean, that's kind of your hot zone. Rangers aren't very Sox. scary Ooh. anymore. I almost feel like they're not yeah. going to win the division. I think I decided I want to play right? them. Even with, I mean, well, they, they don't have Beltre, which is a huge loss. <laughs> it is. It is. Red Sox don't have Euclid. I know. Say that's a wash. I know, but still, that if Beltre comes back, I'm still not that scared. I'm more frightened of Detroit. You're frightened, frightened of Detroit. Yes, See, frightened. I'd, I'd take, well, you, have, I, you always have to say Verlander and Detroit. Verlander yes, and Detroit. Right. Right. But without Verlander, Detroit. Yeah, I heard not Maloney all that scary. yesterday. Poo poo. Max Scherzer. This kid's not bad. He's, he's pretty. You could win two from Verlander and one from Max Scherzer. It's pretty easy. I uh, vote for Detroit just because two home. Just think of the. You, st- you have three games here, including the first two, or you go to Texas. I know it won't be 105, but it's a pain in the ass mm. going to Texas. It, it's it's a disadvantage. And you face C.J. Wilson in the first game, or you face Anaheim, and you face Jared Weaver in the first game at Anaheim. There's no way right. you'd pick that over going or over staying at home and playing Detroit. And as Merloni said, you play you play Verlon, you play Verlander twice. You beat them once. Mm-hmm. You kind of take away their big advantage, right? right. Correct. And I know they, you know, he's not the only pitcher. No, they've they beaten him twice in his career. He's three and two against the Red Sox. Well, C.J. Wilson's four and zero against the Red Sox. Unless you forget, you're sending either Beckett or Lester out there as well. Yeah. So there's yeah. not going to be a lot of runs you wouldn't think scored in that game. See, Wakefield wins his two hundredth. There's no doubt about that, right? Tonight, I don't yeah. know. Tonight, six I'd, time, no doubt. I'm going. Mm-hmm. Oakland's reeling. Yeah. And and then before you, while you're busy, you know. Uh, closing up the shutters and getting the kids down in the cellar, bringing in the lawn and, furniture, and uh, mixing up the powdered fish for dinner. Y- y- they'll win two tomorrow. It'll be a three game. They'll win three in a row before you blink your eye. Yeah, be so busy watching weather and preparing for <laughs> the apocalypse, you won't even know. And then you'll be sitting there Saturday night, you know, clicking on the. T- oh shoot! Three more wins. 